from her first job at the Charleston Daily Mail to her tenure as the New York Times national political correspondent, the first woman to hold that position. She always saw herself as being a servant for the American public. She had a sense of mission and purpose in her work. For Robin, politics was not a horse race or a circus or a tally of who scored more political points than whom, but rather was fundamentally about issues and how they affected the lives of real people. As I've said in recent weeks, uh, I know I'm not the only one who may be more than a little dismayed about what's happening on the campaign trail right now. The divisive and often vulgar rhetoric that's aimed at everybody, but often is focused on the vulnerable or women or minorities. The sometimes well-intentioned, but I think misguided attempts to shut down that speech. The violent reaction that we see, as well as the deafening silence from too many of our leaders in the coarsening of the debate. The sense that facts don't matter, that they're not relevant, that what matters is how much attention you can generate. The sense that this is a game, as opposed to the most precious gift our founders gave us, this collective enterprise of self-government. And so it's worth asking ourselves what each of us, as politicians or journalists, but most of all as citizens, may have done to contribute to this atmosphere in our politics. I was going to call it carnival atmosphere, but that implies fun. And I think it's the kind of question Robin would have asked all of us. As I said a few weeks ago, some may be more to blame than others for the current climate, but all of us are responsible for reversing it. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.